again Solomon's Tales. I'm sorry I left the last one on the cliffhanger. So we're in a bar in Soy 8, centre point, playing killer pool. Solomon is on the table with a very large, well-built gentleman, and it's the final. Prize money, 2,000 baht to the bar, 4,000 baht for second place, 18,000 baht for the winner. They've paid 1,000 baht each to play this killer pool. Solomon's guaranteed 4,000 baht if he loses and comes second, which has covered his night out. He's got Ning there and he's got Frozen there, drinking. The big guy has just turned around and said, winner takes all, and he's a big guy. And Solomon said, no, 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 second place is 4,000 baht, that's fine, I'm happy with that. And the big guy's like, Aah. And he sort of calls Solomon a bit of a name there for sort of chickening out. And Solomon's like, oh God. And Jim, the manager of the bar, is like nodding his head. Okay. Now remember, if you pop the cue ball, you lose two lives. If you pop the black, game over. Just like that. And it's sudden death. This big guy's like, ah. Anyway. Jim flicks a coin, who's go first, big man wins the coin. And the big man's like, ah, okay, I'm gonna kick your butt. Big power, and when you break on the pool table, his power of hitting the cue ball down to the triangular set of balls, it's a hell of a power there this guy's got. And he smacks the balls. Balls shooting everywhere, a couple of balls straight in the pocket, so he's not losing a life. But blow me down, the black, Rolls, bang, straight in the pocket. Instant lose for the guy. It means Solomon's just won 18,000 baht. This big guy, he just snaps. He gets his cue, he, sits, he lifts his knee up and he breaks his cue on his knee. He's there with two half pieces of cue. Swearing and cussing. Now, in Thailand, you do not lose your temper. You do not raise your voice. It's disrespectful. If you're in a bar and you've had a few drinks, the girls will look after you and defuse most situation, situations. But if you start fighting or getting into a brawl, the police will be there within minutes and you'll be banged up and it'll ruin your holiday. But this guy, ah, and he's cussing away. Jim starts approaching from the bar, but Solomon's right next to him, and Solomon puts his hand on the guy's arm and says to the guy, you know, calm down, big guy. You've won 4,000 baht. That's covered your drinks for the night, and now you can get drunk. Now, the guy at that point could have gone either way. He could have just started letting loose with those cues, piling into everyone. Jim's still approaching and the guy sort of uh, throws the cues down on the table. Luckily, looks at Solomon and went, yeah. yeah, you're right. Jim comes over and 4,000 baht. He says to the guy, there you go. You've got second place. I won't charge you the 300 baht for the cue this time. Behave yourself. Now get a drink. And the guy's like, Ugh. and he bangs Solomon on the back and sort of said, well, well done. I would have beaten you. Get you next time. <laughs> and doesn't bother with the drink and then just wanders off. Luckily, that was close shave. It could have turned nasty. Oh. Anyway, Jim's like, you've done it again. Solomon, well, I didn't even hit a ball in the final. The guy just lost immediately. How lucky was that? And he's just won 18,000 baht. He was just like, he was getting good. Yeah, but he gets beaten. But I'm only telling you about the good ones. I'm not telling you about all the ones he loses. 18,000 baht, thank you very much. And it's right, come on girls, let's get out of here. Food. Girls are like, yay. They're very, very happy. I've had a few drinks. Walk up, saw you ate. Again, he's got two girls on his arm. He's just like, what a cool feeling <laughs> but he'll get known for that I'm sure
Anyway, top of Toye. <coughs> Turn right on the right, loads of Thai food. And they go in there, pile in there and start getting food. Now Solomon's in a position now, a tricky position, because he kicks back a couple of thousand baht every time to Frozen. Because she's sort of his partner on the pool. But now Ning's there and he's like, mm. How does he, does he have to give her a couple of thousand back every time? Does he want her there every time? No. He, he, he just straight out with it, he says, Ning, me and Frozen have this deal, tells her. Hey, our Frozen is a couple of thousand baht. Um, but I've bought you a drink. Battery went. And this one will probably go as well. I haven't charged him since the holiday. So he says to Ning, uh, look, this is the situation, blah, blah, blah. I've bought you a drink tonight. I can't really afford another partner on these contests. Well, I could, but doesn't you know? I need this money to live on as a bit of a salary. And Ning's like, no, no problem. I get money from my boyfriend. You know, he sends me uh, money every month. She said, oh, this is just fun anyway, and it's great fun. Okay, cool. So they've got money. They've eaten. Frozen's like, uh, I'm going out. I'm gonna. I've got 2,000 baht. I'm gonna go and see some other friends and uh, go out for the night. Are you joining me? And it, like Solomon's like, no. Nah. We got another match tomorrow night. He says, no, I'm gonna no sleep last night. I'm gonna try and have a good night's sleep. And they finish eating. Ning said, uh, I'm probably not gonna go out. So they're on foot, remember? So off goes Frozen. 2,000 baht. She's happy. Live for today, she'll spend that tonight. She's going to excite the nightclub or one of the clubs. She's just going to get hammered. <laughs> Off she goes. So Solomon pays the bill again. And he's like, Ning, well, I'm going to, he says, I'm going to, I'm tired, I'm going to go and hit the sack. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll come too. She said, uh, and he's like, okay. So they, they're on second road, they literally step two foot onto the pavement, song tell comes, jump in the song tell, ten baht each. Or was it five baht for a Thai person? Anyway, whatever. Song tell goes straight along second road, which stops right next to the bars and the room. Perfect. Get out at the other end. Now Solomon thinks Ning's gonna go into one of the bars where all these girls are, or off home to the room. And Ning says, should we just get one drink here before and say hello to all the girls before we head off? And he's like, mm, all right then, okay. So they go up the steps. They've not gone in the Atlantic bar on the left or the next one. It's the M bar. They've gone there and all the girls are like, oh, piling over and putting their arms around Solomon and giving him a cuddle. And they're like, what? It's all these girls from the room. And Solomon's thinking, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, they're not going to all want a drink. I'm not buying everyone drinks. and It's going to be one of those nights. No way. And he says to Ning, I'm just having one drink. Anyway, he just gets orders a drink for him and Ning. Ning's chatting to all the girls, and they're all having a laugh. A couple of girls from the bar next door have walked over and given Solomon a cuddle. More of those girls. Girls down at Atlantic Bar have waved. It's like... He's only been in that room one night and he's, they all know him. He's that good. <laughs> anyway, he has one drink. Ning has a drink and he says, look, I'm off. He says, I'm tired. She says, yeah, hang on. She drinks the drink. Solomon pays. And she grabs his arm and starts walking down the steps and towards his room. <clears throat> he's like, you come into my room then? And she goes, yeah, yeah, it's nearer. <laughs> There's <coughs> only one road over, a few hundred metres down that road. <laughs> he's like, oh. oh, he just thinks I'm just, yeah, whatever. Up the steps, there's no one around, the girls are all working. On the balcony, in he goes. Anyway, before he's even headed to the shower, um, she's gone. <laughs> he's like, okay. So he's like, all right. He sits on the bed, checks his finances, yeah. He's, he spent about 4,000 baht that night on every 
so he's got about 14,000 baht left from the winnings, that's good. And then comes out the shower, towel rounder. So you get right, in he goes. Shower, finishes the shower. It's a shower curtain job, pulls the curtain back. There's no towel, there's only one towel in the room. And Ning's wearing it. <laughs> He's like, Bleh, Ning, towel. Anyway, let's just say, one thing led to another, they get to bed and cuddle up, no aerobics, and sleep. Tell you on the next one whether it's a good night's sleep or whether all those girls turn up. There's no way he's going to last in this room, it's uh, he's going to have to move a room. Yeah, definitely I think. Good see you all. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't know how many minutes long this one is because the battery went, but hopefully it's about right. And I hope you're enjoying these series. Something starts to happen in the next few. See you soon.